Leah, how are you getting on here today? What sort of experience has it been for you? Yeah, it's been a great experience. We've been with three groups of the kids here, so boys and girls. Um, and we've just been showing them the skills for uh, Gaelic football and stuff. And it's, it's been really good. They've been really enjoying it and stuff. So it's been a great experience. Um, I learned more a little bit of football because since I used to be in the academy, I didn't really learn much. And like the solo, I wasn't really good at it. Like before, when I was in the academy, my friends were like, why, why can't, like, why can't you do it and stuff like that? So then, yeah, I got better. Did you feel that the All-Stars helped you learn quickly? Yeah. I think I like the kick most because I'm used to football, so it's easier to play and it's also fun. And what were the girls like who were teaching you? Oh, they were really nice and then they, they helped me learn a lot about uh, Gaelic. Did you know that girls could be so good at Gaelic football? Oh yes, because even girls can do stuff that boys can't do. Oh really? Have you found that out before? Yes. Great day. Um, look, we're in a fabulous school here, fabulous campus here. Um, the kids are wonderful as well and they're actually picking up the skills really, really well. Yeah, so we're having a great time. Does it make you think that ladies football could go around the world, it could be embraced almost anywhere? Definitely, absolutely, and I suppose it's a privilege for us. I mean, football has given so much, I suppose, to me personally and to all the girls here, so it's really an honour for us that we get to travel around the world and, I suppose, pass on these skills as well. And I mean, it's true, as we know, ladies football is growing and growing, and I suppose it's testament here that, you know, there, there is a club here in Thailand as well. What was the best skill that you learned that they could do, or what was the hardest? Well, the hardest one and the funnest one for me was probably the solo because it was challenging, but at the same time, it was really fun. I think the kids, uh, the students are very excited about it. There's obviously something sort of new. I know that some of them, they have some ideas of the, of the sport itself, but some of them, they didn't have any, any clue about it. But they are really always really willing and open to learn new skills and new activities. And activities have been so great and so positive and so active as well, which is really necessary for their PE lessons as well and the knowledge. To be honest, I've never heard of these game football but till today. So it was fun to know about this different things. It's like great trying new things and learning about it. And what was the best bit about the All Stars and their teaching? What were they like? Um well because they are stars they must know like good. Like they must be very good at it. So like if you're very good at it you must like be able to know how to teach like very well. Do you think it's a game that could go around the world, that it could be accepted and, you know, embraced by girls everywhere? Um yeah, well I like even the fact that it's here in Bangkok and um, and like the young girls here, they're really enjoying it. So it's like a really attractive sport and really enjoyable. So I definitely think it can grow a lot more. So hopefully in the next few years it will. And today there's two Dubs, two Cork, two Kerry, two Waterford and all getting on fine. Yeah, oh yeah, all getting on great. And everyone has been all week. Yeah, look, I think everyone's just happy to, to make the most of this trip, you know, and uh, just everyone gets on together and there's, there's no issues. We're all, uh, we're all happy to, to pitch in and uh, I suppose show the skills of the game.